all right folks in today's video i want to show you how you can create awesome looking intro animation inside hit film express now you can use this intro animation in various ways for example i'll be using this animation to create a gaming intro but you can follow the similar techniques if you're using if you have a channel that is related to tech you can follow the same steps just for example for the background i'm using a doom wallpaper if you have a tech channel you can use a wallpaper of gadgets or something and for the logo you can use your own channel logo so yeah once you have the files ready then you can start by creating a new composite shot and rename this to main or whatever you want to rename it to uh, for the duration let's go with 7 seconds and 1920 by 1080 30 fps but you can also do 60 as well if you want to and then click on ok let's uh, start by dragging in our logo in this case i'm using this doom logo just drag and drop it and we're just going to right click on it and click on make composite shot and this way we will be able to change our logo much easily inside this composite shot so let's call this logo placeholder click on ok then let's go back to our main comp and just scale it down so let's just scale down to 60 percent looks good um, and then the next step is to drag in your background in this case i'm using this wallpaper drag it below your logo placeholder again repeat the process right click on it and click on make composite shot and you can rename this to bg placeholder and click on ok now this image is 4k resolution you can also confirm it by going into the composite shot properties and you can see the width and the height matches with the image size so we'll just go back to our main comp and reduce the size so we'll just go to transform and scale it down to 50 percent so that it fits within this composition size which is 1920 by 1080 okay so the next step is to turn these layers into 3d so i'm going to select these two layers and from this icon i can click on it and select 3d plane and click on yes to add a camera i'm going to create a new point layer and we can make this 3d as well make sure you pair into your camera to the new point and this way we can control the animation with this new point layer we don't want to mess with this layer new camera so we'll just do all the positioning the animation with this point layer so right now if i change something in this transform so for example if we change the z value of or the z value of the position you can see that both the text and the image on the same position so that's why you don't see any kind of parallax so what i want to do is um, let me just undo this what i want to do is go to the background placeholder and just push it back in the z space go to transform and under position the third value over here i'm just going to push it back in the z space to maybe around negative 700 or something and then i'm just going to scale it up like so and now if we go to the new point and change the z position like so you can see that we have a bit of parallax going in our scene over here so we'll use this parallax to build our animation so let's just um, first of all let's just make sure that this image is inside this text so to do this we'll go to effects and search for set mat and apply the set mat effect on the bg placeholder just drag and drop it hide the logo placeholder just click on this eye icon to hide it and under set mat we are going to set the source layer to logo placeholder and we're going to make sure the blend is set to subtract and also click on the invert option now your image is inside the logo which is exactly what we want now let's go to the new point and animate it so let's create a keyframe at the very first frame i'm just going to zoom into this so just keep on increasing the value till you see just the background over here and then i'm just going to move forward to maybe four second and just scale it back to zero so if you check your animation this is how it is going to look now you can notice that your text or the logo might not be in the center so you can just change the anchor point value 
let's disable the floor plane and you can just you know mess around with the anchor point instead of the position to place your logo in the center i'm going to select these two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go to value graph hold the shift key and just drag this handle all the way to the right that way you will create a much smoother animation now it will start animating slowly and then gradually speed up now you can also enable motion blur on these two layers and that will also give a nice effect to it now for the background you can use any kind of background you can leave it right now it's transparent if i go to options and show checkerboard background you can see there is nothing behind it you can either create a new plane layer and use it as a background but i'm just going to use this smoke footage as the background so i'm just going to drag it below everything and we just want to make sure that this layer is also 3d so click on it and make it 3d now you can see that it will change the position and uh, your logo will disappear and that is because this layer is in front of your logo we just need to push it back in the z space so that it is behind our logo so just expand the transform position and just push it back in the z space till you see your logo like right over there then we just need to scale it up so that it matches with this composition size and then we'll also position it properly like so so if we check this animation one more time we'll have something like that let's go to effects and apply drop shadow to our bg placeholder and we are going to change some settings over here so for example we can increase the opacity to one and you can already see the drop shadow over here and you can increase the distance as well and uh, we can also you can just leave it as it is or you can just maybe soften up the shadows a bit like that so yeah that is pretty much it now if you play it one more time this is how it is going to look now we can add another text layer like a tagline or something channel name and just put it right over here and you can also animate it like right at this spot so let's just create a simple opacity keyframe move forward to like maybe five seconds and increase that to 100 so it will reveal the text as well so yeah that is it for this video guys i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one